Welcome back team. Now in this video, our second one for the series, we're going to be talking about goals. Now we're going to be talking about a principle um, that we call SMART goals and how we break that down. And then we're going to be looking at how we actually can attain those goals by writing down different um, things like your what, your why, your where, and your when. Okay, your big your W's are going to help us to actually move forward and get the goal that we want to achieve. Now team, the SMART goal principle. You've probably heard this at work, maybe at school, um, but the SMART goal principle is an acronym that helps us to understand what type of goals we want to try and achieve, okay, to make it very tangible as well as we move forward to that bigger goal. So SMART goals, um, what, they, what it stands for, the acronym, is S being specific. We want the goal to be as specific as possible, okay, measurable, all right? We generally want to have numbers, okay, in that goal, and we'll go through that um, through some one of our examples. All right, SMA, we want it to be achievable. We want to be, uh, to be able to actually achieve, achieve it, okay? Um, we don't want to be sending out these massive goals um, where we, we can't actually achieve it due to our lifestyle. Um, looking at R as well, um, that's for um, how realistic it is, okay? Achievable and realistic, okay? Can we um, see ourselves actually achieving it with the lifestyle that we do have? And the last one is time. Do we have a time frame around it? Okay, to give us a little bit of urgency. All right, so that's the SMART goal principle. Now let's have a look at some things that we can do um, to actually try and achieve those goals long term in and around your health and wellness. So what we're going to do, team, is first and foremost look at what the goal is. Now, when we go through that process of the idea, okay, and we start to think about all these things and all these positive changes that we're going to make, we need to understand that. Uh, a goal is just a dream, a goal not written down, I should say, is just a dream, okay? It's just something that we have in our heads that we would like, but we have no way of achieving it if we don't write it down. So what we need to do, team, is go through a bit of a process. Now, the first thing that we do is get a pen and we get a piece of paper, all right, or a diary, okay? You can use your phone as well. You can use your laptop, whatever it may be, whatever's best for you to start writing this down. Now, the first thing we do, team, is look at what the actual goal is. Now, I'm going to use um, health and fitness, obviously, um, to give you some examples or an example of going through the process. Now, first and foremost, what is the goal? Now, I'm going to throw in three things. Now, my goal is going to be to one of two things. It's going to be to lose weight or decrease body fat. That's goal number one. Goal number two is I want to improve strength. Now, the third goal is I want to improve my fitness. Now team, are those SMART goals? If we go through our checklist, probably not. Because first and foremost, they're not specific, they're not tangible. So we need to go a step further in that initial what stage to make sure that we can get a tangible, okay, and a specific goal. But when we get to the end of the time, the T, to tick it off. So what can we do team? I want to lose weight. Well, how much would you like to lose? Five kilos, 10 kilos? Would, it like, would you like to go to a weight and then be able to work out that number from there? You would like to be able to lose body fat. Well, how much body fat? 5%, 10%, 15%. What is the goal that's gonna be for you that's gonna make you get up and move? Okay, very specific. Now, what about your fitness goal? Or would you like to, how would you like to get fitter? Would you like to be able to walk 2K nonstop, 5K, would you like to run? How far would you like to run? Okay, we need numbers, because that's gonna help it be very, very specific and measurable for when we get to T, the time frame. all right? So team, from there, if we ascertain what those goals are, very specifically, as you can see to the left of me, we can make sure that we're gonna achieve them in a timely manner, and it can be specific and can be ticked off as we go through. Now the next or next thing to do in the goal setting session is to understand the reasons why. Okay, what's the why behind the what? Now we're gonna do a video on this next time because this is very important because this is your purpose. So let's quickly run through this one. So your why is that deep emotional reason why you wanna to move to make that change, okay? To work towards losing fat, losing weight, okay? Getting stronger or getting fitter. Okay, what's driving you to be able to do that? Remember, without a strong enough why, it's gonna be very hard for you to work through any how. So why would you like to do that? Okay, what pulls at your heartstrings? Is it because you don't like the way you look? 
Is it because you don't feel like you can pick up your children? Is it because you don't feel like you can play with your children? Now, yes, we want to be able to have things outside of ourselves, but generally what our why wants to be about us. Okay, that's going to help us move forward a lot better. Now, the next one, team, is where. So where would you like to lose weight? Where would you like to gain strength? Okay, so where would you like to lose weight on your body? Now, we understand we can't pick specific areas that we're going to go and try to lose weight first and then go from there because that's not how it works. Okay, but if we have an idea about where we'd like to lose it, okay, that's going to help us move forward to reach that goal. Where would you like to be stronger? Would you like to do push-ups? Would you like to do chin-ups? Okay, what specific exercises or what specific areas would you like to get stronger? Now, that's the same thing we can put up in the strength category in our what? What about fitness? Okay, in what or where would you like to get fitter? Okay, would it like to be with running, with walking, with cycling? Okay, whereabouts would you like to do that? Now, the last one, team, is when. When would you like to achieve this goal? Is it going to be in an eight-week time frame, 12 weeks? Okay, is it going to be a bit longer, six months? We need a specific date, okay? Not even just looking at those periodic times. If you feel that it's going to be in 12 weeks time, okay, look in your calendar, find the date that's in 12 weeks and put that date down. That creates urgency for us. We have the what we need to do, we have the why, we have the where we want to do it, and then we have the urgency to move forward to do it. Now, a quick tip, tip team is, um, when you're looking at goals, one year, two years, five years. Now, I like to do my age because if you set a goal and you just say, for example, one year's time, in six months' time, that could be, you could go back and say, oh, I want a year. It's going to be another year from there. And then six months go by or the year goes by and you're on another year. So I like to use my age. By this age, I want to be able to have this, this, and that. Now, you only that age once, but you can always go back and say one year. One year, one year over and over again. So when would you like to achieve it? Okay, put it in a calendar, in your calendar, mark it off, and then break down the weeks, the months and weeks from then. Now, what we're going to look at in your plan is how we can actually achieve these goals in small chunks. Now, yes, write down your five-year goal, three-year, one year. That's great to have. The ultimate goal that we're thinking about, we've always thought that for a long period of time. Now, for myself, I like to set goals monthly. I want to know what I'm doing today, within the week, and the next month. And then reset from there and move forward. I don't like to set goals too far down the track. I know what those long-term goals are. I already know that. I want to set myself up inside the process of what I need to do with my habits and barriers to move forward to reach that long-term goal, which will be in the... Um, the video is coming up. So team, smart goals. Specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-based. You need to have your what, you need to have your why, your when, and your where. I'm going to write this down into the comment section team, and please, if you like, comment to me, and make sure, team, you get that pen and paper, you get that idea, and you start to write and write and write. So team, get those goals down. We're coming into autumn and then into winter. It's going to be harder and harder to achieve the goals that we want. As we know, it gets colder. Okay, That's another thing that comes and knocks back at us or knocks back at our goals Okay, and starts to slow us down. So start to practice this goal setting. As you see on the side of me, you'll see those goals that we've set for ourselves. Very specific, very tangible. So team, go have a go at writing those goals. In our next video, we'll go deeper into the why we want to actually achieve these goals. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.